Fire burned for months, you may recall, and residents say it led to health issues. 12 News reporter Jordan Foster found a community activist group is fighting to keep that plant from reopening. This week made one year since a German pellet silo caught fire. The silo burned for months and eventually collapsed. The smoke causing problems for the people that live close. They had fire truck down there, you know, trying to extinguish whatever was burning. And but it, it it kept on burning, kept on burning. You know, I said, well, man, when are they going to put it out? Ronald Brant, who lives in the community across from the plant, says the smoke was around for months inside and outside of homes. It's in everybody's uh, place. My mother had it all in her drapes. But she ended up getting rid of her drapes. A community activist group called the Port Arthur Community Action Network that's opposed to the factory reopening has partnered with Lone Star Legal Aid and sent a letter on Monday to the port's executive director and board of commissioners. In the letter, the group states the company should not be allowed to reopen based on its record of operations to date and the number of violations accumulated on air quality, water quality, and as an unsafe workplace. We have to be able to trust them that they're going to protect the health, lives, and interests of people in this community. For now, the company is scheduled to reopen its silos sometime this summer. In Port Arthur, Jordan Foster, 12 News. We reached out to German Pellets for a statement. It reads, Texas Pellets is committed to operating the Port Arthur facility safely and in full compliance with all applicable laws, regulations, and contractual requirements. We have a